Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Sheldon and this is Behind the Enthusiast. Carryover Models 2024 for Harley Davidson, next one up in this huge run over the course of this entire month of January leading up to the 24th where we have all of the new models released. And again, carryover models are the ones that don't have major changes. So the Ultra Limited coming in at $38,929 Compared to last year, 2023, $35,699, a difference of $32.30. Keep in mind, we have no surcharge, and again, very similar to the Road Glide Limited, we have black trim only as an option. We do not have chrome. And again, that would have cost you guys $2,500 last year, and again, all Canadian funds. I'm not talking USD because I do reside in Canada. So overall, Road Glide Limited and the Ultra Limited both seem pretty reasonably priced. I don't think the price has actually officially gone up that much, maybe a few hundred dollars. And most of the time prices go up a few hundred dollars anyway. So I think we're more or less at par for these particular models, but the Ultra Limited obviously is going to be very similar in some of the color offerings and price. I believe it's the same. And we're going to have that Billiard Gray as a base model. And like I said in the previous video, very similar to Gunship Gray. Now, I know that some people were a little... Uh, ticked off let's say i don't want to be swearing here but they were ticked off a little bit about gunship gray being a base model color and now with billiard gray well they might feel the same way so we'll see how that goes but billiard gray is the base color now vivid black is going to cost you an additional 950 dollars canadian and if you don't want vivid black you want something premium you have Two options, you have White Onyx Pearl, $1,250, which looks really, really nice, I'm not going to lie. Not a huge fan of a fully decked out bike, however, White Onyx Pearl on this Ultra Limited, it looks really, really sharp. And the Shark Skin Blue, $1,250 as well. And this color, although it looks nice, this is one of those colors where I really want to see it in person, in the showroom, or actually just out in the parking lot, if I'm able to. I mean, we're talking about, you know, unloading bikes in the winter, so that's probably not possible. But has been a pretty mild winter, so you never know. And of course, if you guys want a two-tone paint, well, you have the combination of Red Rock and Vivid Black for an additional $2,000. Like I said... The pricing is probably exactly the same, if I'm not mistaken, to the Road Glide Limited. Usually these bikes are pretty comparable. And now that I think about it, there is one subtle difference. You get White Onyx Pearl in the Ultra Limited, and you get the Blue Burst on the Road Glide Limited. So there is that difference. So I'm okay with that because I would choose a Road Glide over a Street Glide any day anyway. So I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. That doesn't affect me whatsoever. But I want to know what you guys think of this. Price, color options. Obviously, between the Road Glide Limited and the Ultra Limited, two of those colors are mixed. So you get White Onyx Pearl with the Ultra Limited, but with the Road Glide Limited, you get the blue burst instead. So... Which one are you guys going to go with, right? Obviously, this video is about highlighting the Ultra Limited. However, you guys can tell me that you like the Road Guide Limited in the comments down below for this video anyway, because this video came out second. So if you're waiting for both of these videos to be released and compare the two, let me know what you guys think between the two models down below in the comments section. And of course, if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button so I know that it's working. And last but not least, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out 
on the notifications that will be posted for when I drop the next video in this month long series of talking about the carryover models and then eventually on the 24th Harley supposedly is going to have a lot of new stuff coming out because we only have three count them three touring models on the website right now we've got the ultra limited road glide limited and the road king special that's it we don't have any of the base models we don't have any of the specials we don't have any of the sts posted either and well i'm kind of curious as to whether or not to bring him back the base model road king as well so lots of questions are still to be answered by the end of this month so thanks for watching guys and i will catch you in the next one